Today we are starting video series called Zatka Integration Demystified, explaining how easily and quickly you can integrate with Zatka e-invoicing system. Also, we will introduce toolkit for extremely simplify this task. Many of the Zatka integration projects are lagging behind due to the complexity of the integration or a lack of understanding of how to correctly perform the integration. The objective of this video is to explain to business owners, system developers, and systems integrators how easily you can integrate your invoicing solution with Zaka. That's why we call this tool Zaka Demystified. This toolset is set of libraries which you can call or execute from your own in-house developed application code. We will look deeply inside this libraries in next episodes this video series and how to integrate different programming platforms with Zatka. So don't worry, we will explain everything, make this extremely simplified in next few videos. Just keep us subscribed. This video explains all the necessary tools and functions for integrating your existing business system with Zatka. Furthermore, this tool will simplify all the cryptic aspects and make it easy for you, while all the complexities will be handled in the library itself. This tool library is developed for the Windows environment. Many development platforms can benefit from this library. Whether you're using Windows 10, 11, or Windows Server environments from Windows 2012 onwards, you can run this library without any additional framework installations. You can also use this library of functions in a variety of programming platforms, including .NET environments, VB.NET or C Sharp, desktop or web applications, Python, PHP, C++, Visual Fox Pro, Visual Basic, as well as Node applications such as Express Web Services and React or Angular sites, all of which can benefit from this library. Also, this library provides common interoperability so that your application code can interact with the library object via COM. Now let's see Zaka Device Registration, EGS, e-invoice generation solution onboarding. This interface allows you to onboard your EGS, electronic generation solution, unit. A company can have one or more EGS units registered in their Zaka portal. Each unit generates a separate and independent sequential ID, but you can maintain your invoice numbering sequence in any format that suits your requirements. In this section, we will explain what each field in the registration form means and how to integrate this functionality into your system. There are two Zaka development and testing environments. This library can connect to both sandbox environments, namely non-production and simulation, as well as the production environment. Now let's look at how Zaka registration gets integrated in calling our class. The Zaka library provides three primary classes. Zaka Wrapper, Zaka Invoice, and Utilities. Everything in Zaka can be performed in this three library classes. The first step in the Zaka EGS registration process is generating a CSR, Certificate Signing Request. This function is available in the Zaka Wrapper class. You can pass all the necessary parameters to generate the CSR. We call CSR Generation function in the Zaka Call Wrapper where we need pass the parameters list capture in your screen. We pass common name CN, name or asset tracking number of the solution unit, EGS serial number, organization identifier, organization unit name, organization name, country. Invoice type, we pass one out of three coded values, simplified only, 0, 1, 100, standard only, 1000, both simplified and standard 1100, location, industry, the library will create the CSR and the private key as strings. PEM format always true. Registration type pass, non-production, simulation, or production. Additionally, it provides a variant of this function that generates the CSR and private key as files saved at the specified path. After generating the CSR and private key using the library, the next step is to obtain the production certificate by signing the CSR file and sending it to Zatsa. You can easily achieve this by calling the Get Production Certificate function in the Zatka Wrapper class. Now let's see how we get that in Live Run. We will have to fill each of these values in turn. After the registration, let's look how we does that using the library. 
Common name CN, name or asset tracking number of the solution unit. EGS serial number, manufacturer name, model, version, and serial number. Organization identifier, V8 registration number to associate the device correctly with your TIN. Organization unit name. For branches or VAT groups, include the TIN of the group member whose device is being onboarded. Organization name. Organization taxpayer name. Location. Address of the branch or primary location of the device. Industry. Sector for which the device will generate invoices. Country name. The location of operation. Invoice type. Specify supported invoice types by selecting one out of three options. You can see corresponding invoice type code in the coding. Standard tax invoice and simplified tax invoice as 1100. OTP is the one issued by Zaka Simulation or Production Portal when new device requested. Once all done, press Register Device button. Now Zaka EGS onboarding has completed. You can see CSR we generated filled here. PVT key is the one we generated in the first function CSR generate. We get production CSID, certificate, and secret in the second function called get production certificate function in the Zatka wrapper. Finally, let's see how we call the Zatka registration. Once after the generation of CSR and private key, we call the get production certificate function in the Zatka wrapper class. We will have to pass the registration type we selected in the screen, namely non-production and simulation, as well as the production. Next two parameters are the token value we received in the ZATSIA portal. For development certificate, it's a fixed value, 123345. Also pass the CSR we generated in earlier step. Then function returns the results in production certificate class. We get production CSI secret, decoded production certificate, its decoded value of PCSID. Let's meet up in the next episode. In the next video, let's look at how easily to create Zaka XML files just by creating the invoice object and few function calls. Keep us subscribed to learn more about Zaka e-invoicing. Thank you for watching.